Alrighty. Alrighty, daddy. We can check out this. And hey, let's make some phone calls. Okay, we can call... Um, let's call... George. George Fane. Nancy's friend. <laughs> Hello? George, it's Nancy. Great timing, Nancy. Bess and I were just saying how we wish we were out on the ski slopes with you. Hang on, I'll get her to pick up the other phone. Hey, Bess, our favorite detective's on the phone. Hey, Nancy, how's the vacation? I guess you haven't gotten my letter. Not only do I have a blizzard on my hands, but I may have stumbled onto another case, too. Oh. The castle library was vandalized, and one of the other guests says her room was robbed. Boy, oh boy! Have you searched the library for clues yet? Well, that's the thing. Dexter Egan, the caretaker, says it's locked up and off limits until the police can get here. But who knows when that'll be? That's funny, Nancy. I didn't know the phrase off limits was even in your vocabulary. Seriously, though. Don't you think that your dad's friend, Christy Lane, would feel better knowing that you're on the case at least until the police can take over? She's right, Nancy. I mean, who knows what this Egan guy is all about anyway? Sounds like you're just going to have to find an alternative entrance to that library. Here I go again. Just hope I don't have to slide down the chimney. What about this robbery? Who got robbed? I'm not sure. The guest's name is Professor Hodgkiss. I think she's a bit eccentric. You mean weird? Netso? A few sandwiches short of a picnic? Okay, you guys. I just mean that I'm not sure how reliable her testimony will be. Yeah, but she'll probably tell you something important. Whether she means to or not. Mm -hmm. I met my ski instructor, Jacques Brunet. He sure is French. Ooh la la, this accent should be illegal. I hate to break it to you, Bess, but uh, he's engaged. Now there's a real crime. Right, Bess. Humanity is devastated. <laughs> I met this nice woman, Lisa Ostrom. What's her deal? She's a photojournalist doing a story on the castle. She sure got me curious about that tower. Oh yeah? Does she know where the entrance is? I don't think so. Well, keep an eye on her, Nancy. Those photojournalists are born snoopers, you know. George, are you suggesting that Nancy is a second-class snooper? You're going to give our friend a complex. Oh, right. Like Nancy doesn't know she's the Prime Minister of snooping. I'm trying to meet with Professor Hodgkiss to find out what was stolen from her room. But she won't open her door to discuss it. That's odd. I wonder what she's so nervous about. I'll bet she's hiding something in her room. Like what, Bess? The elephant that trampled the library? She's probably just a little freaked. I mean, if her room really was robbed... You'll find a way to make her trust you, Nancy. I'll bet Bess's last slice of pizza on it. Hey! Okay, you two. I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Okay, well, that's Bess and George. Let's call, uh... Let's call Ned Nickerson next. He's Nancy's boyfriend. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Hello? Ned, it's me! Well, you're a sound for sore ears. Bess called me and told me your vacation is rapidly turning into another mystery. So what's the latest? I think whatever's going on around here must have something to do with the castle's history. And the tower that Ezra Wickford imported from France. What do you mean? It's just a hunch. I'll know more once I find my way into the tower. What's going on with you? Ah, the usual. Just buried in books over here. Hmm. Apparently, this castle's tower used to be a hangout for Marie Antoinette. Who's that? Ezra Wickford's wife? Are you kidding? Marie Antoinette was a famous queen of France. And she used to hang out in Wisconsin? No, silly. The tower was originally part of the Chateau Rochemont in France. Ezra Wickford fell in love with the tower and imported it to Wisconsin. And Marie didn't want to come along. Well, that would have been pretty tough for her, considering... Ned Nickerson, are you pulling my leg? What do you mean, Nancy? You know very well that Marie Antoinette was beheaded in 1793, don't you? Well, yeah. I guess I read something about that when I studied the French Revolution. But when did Wickford show up? He didn't discover the tower until the 1920s, over a hundred years after Marie's death. Whew! I think I'm all clear now. 
Thanks for straightening that out for me, Detective. You are some pain in the neck, pal. Good thing I'm so cute. Oh, boy. Alright, let's ask about the library. I'm trying to get into the library, but the door is locked and I can't find any other way in. Maybe the detective entrance isn't through a door at all. There must be a more creative way to drop in on the crime scene. You don't think I should just borrow Dexter's extra key from the front desk? I don't know, Nancy. Waltzing right through the front door isn't very adventurous, and it might not be as easy as you think. Bye, Ned. Bye. Nope, that's Ned. Alright, so right now there's uh, about two things you can do in the game. One is to get trapped in the elevator, and the other is to uh, talk to Professor Hotchkiss and have her make you her apprentice. Let's do the elevator thing first. Wait, what? It's locked. Hmm. The elevator is making noises. And there it is. Alright. So let's go down to the basement. Duh? It's stuck. See? The elevator got stuck midway through. Uh-oh. Nothing works. So what you have to do is go out through the roof. I'm not sure if I can make it. Hmm, that does seem like a long jump. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Hmm, broken vent, huh? Ooh, a box. I bet I can stand on this to get to the door. How are you? Yep. Oh. Okay. So, we got stuck in the elevator. That was fun, wasn't it? Now let's tell Dexter about the elevator. <laughs> did you see I fixed your radiator? Yeah, we did. I was in the elevator and it got stuck between floors. I had to climb out the top and I just barely made it up to the floor above. Do you think you'll be able to fix it? Well, I doubt it's broken. I'll check the power switch in the basement. Glad you're okay. But don't go climbing around the elevator shaft anymore. It's dangerous in there. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Oh, so much for talking to Dexter. Let's reset the uh, elevator power switch. Where is Lisa? Lisa left. Oh no. She's gone. Now I'm sad and lonely and I'm gonna cry because I don't have anybody to talk to! <laughs> okay, Michael, get a hold of yourself. Elevator reset. Alright, and that fixes the elevator. Okay, what time is it in this game? Ooh, it's about 7 o'clock. Well, that's why Lisa's not there. Alright. So now that we've done the elevator stuff. Let's go see Professor Hotchkiss. Okay, so where are we relative to Professor Hotchkiss? I hope this is the right place. And it's not. <laughs> Hotchkiss is over here, I believe. There we go, there's the sound of typing. <laughs> 